hobbies. Hi guys, how you doing? It's Kim. I wanted to share with you an amazing little lot that I got of G3 ponies today. I want to share with you because I want to show you how awesome they are. <laughs> I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with some of these ponies because they're a little baity. Baity means they need a little TLC, a little tender loving care. I'm going to show you what awesome stuff I just received in the mail. And then at the end, I have a special G1 gift as well that I have received. I'm really excited about it. I got to show you all of these. You ready? Okay. Here's number one. All right. Not sure if you guys know who this is, but this is 2006. This is Precious Gem. She's really dirty, <laughs> but as you can see, she's not called fancy hair for nothing. She's got these gorgeous, gorgeous factory curls. I know she looks so dirty, doesn't she? But just go with me on this one. I'm gonna give her a little spa day. I'm gonna show you how to recreate these amazing factory curls and uh, how to get them back looking gorgeous again. And I don't know, I'm on the fence if I want to fade her or not. I have to see what she looks like after I do a little spa day on her and then see if she needs a little extra whitening. But that's our first one. Okay, number two. 2006, Jasmine Taz. I'm a musician, and so I love it any time that I can find a pony that has a little music. It's kind of fun. This poor girl, <laughs> I'm sure you know she looks a little bit different, like she might be missing some color. <laughs> Somebody decided to pull out all of her pink hair. She's missing it. <laughs> so she's going to get a little extra hair. <laughs> put in and the rest of her actually is in pretty fine condition. She's got a couple little blue spots, which I think I can take care of with a magic eraser. I feel like it'll come off. Um, but yeah, she needs some pink hair back in her hair. So we're gonna work on her. She's gonna be a rehair and actually she's nice and soft. So her head is going to come off very easily and uh, we'll be able to get her back looking gorgeous again, but I'm really tight excited about her. Our next candidate for uh, adding to my collection, shall we say, <laughs> is Aloha Pearl. Um, she's actually in really fantastic condition. Um, her cutie mark is amazing. Let's see if I can get myself centered there. Uh, her hair, other than it being massively braided, which I want to meet the person who did this braiding because let me tell you this is impressive this is like five or six strand braid i don't know what it is but i need to learn how to do this i might have to like back engineer it to figure out how they did that because that's pretty cool she is just basically going to get a wash down and her hair is really brittle so i'm going to give it um some good conditioning and probably probably just make it nice and soft again but it doesn't look like she's had any haircut she's just had this amazing looking braid so <laughs> here she is she's gonna get a spa day and then I'm gonna do her hair and luckily I don't have to rehair her her hair is in gorgeous condition um a lot of the tinsel is still there so I'm really excited to see what she looks like when I get this massive braid out the next one well next ones I should say they're a set of twins this is Dibble Dabble from 2003 as you can see, one of them's had a little haircut, so she should have beautiful, long, gorgeous hair, but unfortunately, someone just took a pair of scissors and decided she looked better with a bob than long hair. But she still has her great long tail, and I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna do a little rehair on her. She might become an alternate rehair. We'll see. I gotta see uh, how everything comes out with her because I mean, the tail's in gorgeous condition, so I don't know if I'm going to make it to match or if I'm going to do a little alternate because I do like to change it up quite a bit. The other one, she's in pretty good condition. She just had minor, minor cuts. I think I might try to just um, 
take out the the yellow here that has had the cut because it ends at about here. The rest of the hair is in pretty good condition. Oh, I guess there's a little bit more cutting. I don't know. She might be a full rehair. We'll see. But again, the tail, long, gorgeous, all there. And the cutie mark, fantastic condition. Come on. How awesome is that? I love it. All right. Our next one up that we got. Oh, yes. This is Scootaloo. So she's really cool. She's a 25th birthday celebration collector series pony. And um, she is one of the few that has cutie marks or, <laughs> yeah, we call them cutie marks on both sides. So on the front, on the front, on the show side, beautiful, beautifully done. I don't know, wow, I'm, I'm kind of liking her uh, punk rock do right now. I, just took a good little look at it. Um, but this is the first side, gorgeous condition, no scratches, anything. And then on the back side, really, really good condition. Poor girl's gotten a, a really bad tail cut, but that's okay. But I don't know. I'm kind of like in the punk rock look for a little bit. I might, I might sit with it for a minute and see what I want to do with her. That's her. Okay, our next one is Twinkle Twirl. So she is really cool, and I don't believe that she's had a haircut. I took a look, it looks pretty even. You guys let me know, if her hair is supposed to be longer, I don't think it is. Um, but I think she just needs a good spa day, maybe a little straightening with the iron. Um, but again, cutie mark, amazing condition. The other reason why I really like her, she's a double magnet, which is kind of cool. I have only seen, I think, one other that has a double magnet. So if you look on the bottom, the two pink spots right here, those are magnets. So she can be in standing or she can be rearing. Love it. All right, our next one. Oh, we have another 25th anniversary. Rainbow Dash. This is Hope Rainbow Dash. She has a slight little tail chop. <laughs> it's okay though. Her hair is gorgeous. Look at all of this tinsel. Love it. And as you can see, the cutie mark on the back side. I, I just can't get over the detail on it. I absolutely love it. I love it. And it says right here, 25th birthday. As you can see it, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get close enough. There we go. Yeah, really fun, really fun. I love it. A little bit of a haircut in the front, but uh, we'll, we'll call that just uh, her floof. I don't know what we're gonna call it, but she just needs a new tail. Other than that, gorgeous condition. Our next one. Let's see, this is, oh, another 25th celebration. This is Sweetie Belle. She's super cute too. Again, tail cut. I don't know what it is with the kids and the tails. Why don't these ponies have tails? Somebody tell me, I don't get it. She is lovely too, look at that. Look at the, I love the artistry. I think that's why I'm so drawn to it. Look at that on both sides, really, really nice. Really nice, right? Fun, but this poor girl needs a tail. <laughs> I don't think she's had a haircut. I, I'm gonna have to straighten it to see. It could be, I don't know. I don't know the 25th celebrations really well, so I have to take a look at some more of the pictures to see if the lengths are correct or if they've just had total chops all over. But she's another one, super fun. Super fun. All right. Oh. I got me another celebration one. Here's Dreams. This is Star Song. As you can see, she's she's got the punk right, rock do going on. I don't think she's had a tail cut though, which is great. The tinsel is amazing in her hair. The hair is super soft too, which is why I'm a little bummed that she's she's been so cut up because Come on now, she looks so good otherwise. But I, I like it, it's kind of like a, a mohawk, faux hawk going on there, that's good. So it says dreams on the front side, 
backside, really nice design. Again, no scratches, like the bodies are in amazing condition and I just love them, but whoo, she's another punk rocker. <laughs> Our last one that we have is 2006. This is Daffa Daisy. I'm sure most people are familiar with her. Um, she's got a fun little flower. Um, unfortunately, it, boy, it's really dark. So I'm gonna see if there is some way I can either replace this or lighten it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Does it need bleach? I don't know. I was thinking about maybe using a Tide pen on it to see if it would clean it up. I don't know, thoughts, thoughts. She unfortunately has had a haircut. She should have beautiful, long flowing hair like my other one. I wish I had brought her to show you. Unfortunately, she is upstairs with the herd, so she's not down here. But, um, but yeah, other than that, she's in pretty good condition. One magnet, it looks a tiny bit rusty around the magnet. So I'll have to open her up and take a look to see what's going on inside, but I don't see any other marks. I mean, other than that, really good condition. So these are my newest ladies that have joined my herd, and um, this is going to be a uh, fun project. I'm really excited about all these, and I hope you will join me so that you can... Uh, you can see what I do with them and how they get created. And G3s are a little bit different than generation ones. Um, the body's a little bit different. When you take them apart, the, the plastic is a little bit less malleable than a uh, generation one. So it's going to, you know, we'll see how it goes, but not terrible, not terrible. Still lots of fun. All right, are you guys ready? This was my coolest buy. I have to show you. So excited. Da, 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 da. All right, folks. I love this. I don't know if there's any people who um, collect merchandise or whatever, but every once in a while, I come across something on the internet that just strikes me and I must get it. So this is what I got. Original 1986 lunchbox, and I love it. There is just a little bit of discoloring along the top, but otherwise it's in really, really good condition for how old it is. I love it. The clasp works. It unfortunately, it doesn't have the, um, the, the drink holder, but you know, the inside's great. Like it, it's not disgusting, it's not rusted, it doesn't stink. It's like, it's a very well-preserved lunchbox. So I'm really excited about this and I wanted to share it with all of you. So I thank you guys so much for coming and looking at what we have on our channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. You can see the stuff my husband is doing with our son and you can see the restoration that I'm doing on my little passion projects here. Um, so I hope you'll come back and join us. Give us a like and please subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to see more of you and I hope that you'd love to see more of us. Have a good one.